yo what's up everybody welcome back to our channel it's your boy jesse keegan and your girl Fanny Lungu. and we are Fanny and jesse. jesse so right about now we're gonna do another reaction video and before we get started just want to say thank you to everybody for subscribing you guys are super super amazing and right about now we're gonna do quran says muslims will fast go to hell uh christian to dr zaki naik he was in nigeria apparently so we're gonna react to that without any further ado guys let's get it the brother said in 200, 2008, he would have become a Muslim. He was going to become Muslim, but he read the Quran. And the Quran says, all the Muslims will first go to hell. After hell, then they will go to heaven. And even the Prophet himself will first go to hell. Brother, this is the Quran. Where does it say this? You are telling all nonsense. Now, okay. brother, you are close to accepting Islam. I think it's a story. It's a story because they wanted to misguide the people. I doubt whether you wanted to accept Islam in 2008. I want to. My Very best good. Friend, let, let, me, let me give you a narration about it. My best friend who is a Muslim, I'm a Christian. We share everything in common. He's the one that we discovered that the only thing we didn't share in common. But now do you know you made a mystery? Your friend may not be an expert in the Quran, correct? My, my friend is a Christian today. 2012, he has become a Christian. And he's an afar. Your he's friend? Your friend, according to that, the reason your friend that told you doesn't know the Quran and you misguided him. No. So you he misguided instead himself. of him taking you to Islam, you took him from the right path to the wrong path. I told you first, your friend doesn't know the Quran, you misguided him. And now you're trying to misguide us also. Correct? Okay, what's your name and your profession, brother? Okay, my name is Benson Sunday and I'm a software engineer. Okay, my question goes thus. Um, I, I'd like to give a little background of my question if you like, which is that um, I should have also be a Muslim today, if not for this question that is not answered. And what is the question? The question sorry, sorry. is... Can you repeat again, brother? Okay. Can you say a bit loudly and slowly? In the year 2008, probably I might have been a Muslim. In the year 2008, you might have been a Muslim. Because, but because of this question that... I could not get an answer for, okay. and maybe some other one, but this was a very crucial one for me. But now if you get the answer, you'll become a Muslim, inshallah. Just wait. Uh, if you could answer it, no problem. And the question goes like this. What is the question, brother? The question is that, being a, being a Christian, I discovered to go to paradise is just to believe in Jesus Christ and follow him and you get to paradise. Now, but after a friend bought me a Quran in 2007-2008, and we start reading, I begin to, I found that in some references that all Muslims will first of us go to hellfire and be born in hellfire before. Sorry, can you repeat all Muslims? Will? All Muslims. Can you keep quiet, brothers and sisters? They are reference to these things. I am not saying can it. You this be is quiet, from the please? Quran. And from their deeds. Wait, I cannot hear you. Okay, so I repeat that after studying it in that 2007, 2008, I find out some Quranic references, and um, hadiths also explain it. Some hadiths, even Soyi hadiths, which are strong hadiths, um, that no all Muslims will taste hell. They will pass through hell before they get to paradise. And I, being a Christian, I look at it that how can I, okay, how can I have an offer that says go to paradise directly without a fire? And one say you have to go through fire with, uh, and after that you go to paradise. Even some, some, uh, at this even says that the prophet. I heard your question. I got your question. Okay. Is there a question? Uh, just a, a last one to that question. That some some of this even shows that the prophet himself says in some places that even him, when it, when everybody is born in the um, fire of hell, it remains the mark of worship, and Allah will shovel some people out of it, and even him is not sure if he will be among those who be shoveled out, and same same water will pour on it. So I heard your question. I heard your question. I understood very clearly. Okay. Finish, you have too long. You want to give a speech here? No, no, no. I so, understood your question. Come dead person. So I should, I should, I yes, should. I want to answer it now. Okay, thank you, sir. The brother said that, it, and I'll repeat your question in short. 
The brother said in 200, 2008, he would have become a Muslim. He was going to become Muslim, but he read the Quran. And the Quran says, all the Muslims will first go to hell. After hell, then they will go to heaven. And even the Prophet himself will first go to hell. Brother, this is the Quran. Where does it say this? You are telling all nonsense. Okay, can I, I quote the, the Quran? Can I quote the reference? Listen, listen, listen. I have the reference, sir. Okay, give the reference. Okay, first of all, you no, have no, it in give Quran. The reference. Wait, give yes. the reference where it says all Muslims will go to hell first. Where, where does it say? Okay. I have you, read the Quran 100 times, more than 100 times. You may not hear it in that same word, but I'll quote it. Quran chapter 19. Reference. Give me Surah the reference. Surah to Maryam. Sorry, Surah Maryam, chapter number 19. Yes. Verse number 68 to 72. I think emphasis wait, wait, is wait, wait, in wait. 71. Chapter 19. Yes. Surah Maryam. Verse number? Yes. Maryam. Surah to Maryam. Ayah 68 to 72. And there's another reference also, but we'll start with that. Where does it say? Okay. Where does it say all Muslims will be put to hell? 71. If you can read it, and I can read from here, or anybody can bring an English Quran, we can read it. 68 to 71. If you have, if anybody have, I have the Quran on my phone, no, but if you want them to bring a physical Quran with English, I can come and No, read I'm it. English, English, Arabic, I've got both, Arabic and English, both. Yes, that's so what I'm saying. If there's a mistake, 71. I can check up in Arabic. Where does 71 say Muslims will go to hell? Uh, where okay. Does... okay, can you read it, or I should read it from here? So that oh, we can... No, where, where the word Muslim mentioned here for show me? Which I have mentioned Muslim. It is talking about somebody else. It's talking about the evil one who will go to hell first. Where does it say Muslims? Okay, let me read. If, if that's not convincing, no, let me read. Tell me which verse says Muslim. Yes, let me what, read it. Let me read it number, out. Okay, let me yes. verse number. Okay, good. Let me, let me read it out. Verse number which? Uh, let, me, let me check. And which read verse it. are you reading? I want to know. 71, 72. So, In 71, 72, the word Muslim doesn't exist. Okay, okay read. now, uh, uh, then, let me read from 6. That I quote, my reference is from 68. Okay, 68 also doesn't quote. Oh, yeah, let 68 me read. doesn't say Muslim anywhere. Let me read, let me read. Even I can read from anywhere, any, any place. Okay, from 66. Okay. And man says, 66 now. Okay. Can it be that when I am dead, I will be brought alive? Does man not remember that when created him, earlier when he was nothing, Correct. But your Lord, we will surely aid them and the devil. And the? And the devil. Repeat, devil, devil. Yes. yes devil. Yes. So Allah is talking about devils now. And the devil. Yes. Then we will surely bring them around hell on their knees. Correct. Then out of every set, we will surely snatch those most defiant to, to the all merciful. No, no. Read correctly. You are reading half. Read correctly again that verse. This is this is from my own. Then read 68. The, read 68 again. No, okay, I'm reading 69 now. I've read 68 before. 68 says. So says, thy Lord. Uh, but read. okay, sorry, sorry. But your Lord will will surely add them and the devil. Devil, yes. Yes. Then we will surely bring them around hell on their knees. Okay. And I Next. continue. 69. Then out of every set, we will surely snatch those most defiant to the all merciful. Correct. All those who are against Allah. Yes. So it's not talking about Muslims. Uh, it's talking reading. about those who are against Allah. We have not finished, sir. We have not finished, no, sir. Read the full verse correctly. Read 69. Then can we certainly yes, drag out from every sect all those who were versed in obstinate rebellions against Allah, most gracious. Yes, I said so this verse 72. is talking about those who are Allah at, most gracious, I didn't not stop about Muslims. No, let me continue. Let me read the Quran first but before what? you give an explanation. Let me read the so Quran. Do you understand talking about those who are against Allah? Sheikh Zaknaik, let me read the Quran. Al Quran. This is the Al Quran. Let me read it completely yes. first yes. before you give an explanation. So, 70. 70 says, Then we surely know better of those who are most. Deserving to roast in it. Okay. But every single one of you is born to approach it. This has been a decree, unavoidable decree of your Lord. The, the, then we will deliver those who were mindful of God and live unjust in the on their nails. So if you, if you can read that even in your own 
English. I'm he reading. Will he will, he will I'm it. reading Arabic also no. and English also. Uh, no one else is a Muslim. Okay. He's talking he about the devil and those who are followers of the devil who are enemies of Islam. He, Correct. That's why I said. Where does it say Muslim? Read in the full it. Arabic text, there is no Muslim. Okay. In Come the out. English text, there is no Muslim. Okay. Why are you trying to fool the people? No, but no, sir. The Hadith explain it better. We say if you did not get it, I can give another Quran. I'm Muslim. not getting it. I can understand even in your language. Nowhere the word Muslim mentioned. Even in your English language, it's talking about the devil and those who are obstinate against the most gracious Allah. Okay. So Allah will bring them and put them in hell. What is now, the problem? Well, why did he say that? Please don't waste people's time. You no, read, sir. you took so much time. I gave you time. You, no, you can, can quote you can in the Quran. It. You can read it from your translation. Even, even what you read, the word Muslim is not there. You, you, you don't have to have Muslim. He's saying all sects. Of sex. course it should. Uh, all sects of all the devil. He's talking all about sects all of the human devil. Being. And also the Hadiths. Okay, let me read the Hadiths so that it can be clearer. And another Quranic verse that make it clear. Another Quranic verse. Quran chapter 3, verse 185. Quran chapter 3, verse 185. Also yeah, I know 3, 185 says, Allah will not accept any religion except Islam. All those who follow any other religion, they shall be put into hell. Now, from here, I, I want to read it. I want to just read it. I'm telling you. And, and, and I'll just, we'll just read the Hadith to, to, to confirm it. It Let doesn't say Muslims. It is talking about those who are against Allah. Anyone who desires a religion other than Allah, it will never be accepted of him. Kullu nafsin zaykatul maut. Every soul shall have a taste of death. I, I'm reading here. Then we read brother, the now brother, you are close to accepting Islam. I think it's a story. It's a story. It's a story because they wanted to misguide the people. Brother, what's your name? Brother, what's your name? My name is Benson. Benson? Yes. Benson? Yes. Brother Benson, I doubt whether you wanted to accept Islam in 2008. I want to. My Very best good. friend, let, let, me, let me give you a narration about it. My best friend who is a Muslim, I'm a Christian, we share everything in common. He's the one that we discovered that the only thing we didn't share in but common. But now do you know you made a mystery? Your friend may not be an expert in the Quran, correct? My, my friend is a Christian today. 2012, he has become a Christian. And he's oh, an yeah. Afar. Your friend, your friend, according to that, the reason your friend that told you doesn't know the Quran, and you misguided him. No. So you <laughs> misguided him. Instead of him taking you to Islam, you took him from the right path to the wrong path. I told you first, your friend doesn't know the Quran, you misguided him. And now you're trying to misguide us also. Correct? No, so if you told your friend, I want to become Muslim, I'll show you the Quran. Now Quran says you'll go to hell. Now become a Christian. He became a Christian because he doesn't know the Quran. Brother, I'm talking to you, you're looking inside. Okay, I want to just read it. I'm That's talking right. to you, you're looking inside. Okay, no, I'm okay. listening to you, sir. I, brother, you quoted two verses. Both the verses don't talk about Muslims in hell. Why are you wasting our time? Do you, do you want to? You have to agree you made a mistake. Say sorry and let's. Let us give a chance to her, please. Okay, sir. Do if you, you make a mistake, say sorry at least. No, say at least sorry. No. Say sorry, I made a mistake. No, I didn't make any mistake. Okay, then, then don't accept your mistake. Then you're a liar according to me. Okay, thank you. Yes. Um, I don't know. I feel like the uh, Dr. Zaki was too was too harsh I don't know and also not giving someone a chance to just try and explain himself clearly of course he had already made a point but the thing is trying to make someone not want to say something clear and coming up with some little distraction it, it actually creates some imbalances and you end up not even wanting to say exactly what you wanted to say and um, I don't know. I feel it's it's it's. Just, I don't know why people are so delusional just like this. Um, on this one, I'll have to disagree with the way the approach of Doctor Zakir Naik. I don't know if. So who's delusional in this clip? I don't know. I think Doctor Zakir Naik is a little bit delusional or something. I understand your teacher of. Of Islam and whatnot, but the thing is, um, it shouldn't it shouldn't make you 
feel so much emotional and act upon things like that you know when 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 <clears throat> when someone like him stands in front of you he he probably wants to learn yes he wants to challenge you but again he wants to learn also you on the other side yes you're you're a scholar and all those kind of stuff uh trying to tell everybody i've read the quran 100 times doesn't mean that you've read the quran 100 times you perceive it the way another person perceives the quran do you understand it's totally different and then the thing is the way i see the way i view something it can be different from the way you look at things the brother just say um that's how he understood so probably he wanted to he wanted that kind of convincing from him but the delivery was really bad to a point that he even went on and started saying that uh you took your friend to the wrong path or what so meaning that according to dr zakinai Christia christianity is the wrong path of religion or wrong path of going to heaven or whatsoever that thing is so i think it's it's it's, it's really wrong imagine if i'm the imagine if i didn't know dr zakinai and this is the first day i'm listening to him automatically i will just look at him like he's so ignorant and so delusional about everything because you can't just be out, out outward straight in the crowd like that and start saying things in, in front of a, maybe there was a big television and just saying that you're mentioning a religion yes you're protecting your own but you're making the other one look like it's the wrong religion that it doesn't belong anywhere you should, all the people who believe in that religion are gonna go to hell so that's the wrong thing I don't agree with I don't I don't to be honest even if you're Muslim now I don't really agree with you I know you can go out there and say hey why are you saying that no no, no. the idea is you shouldn't try and um, um, look down upon other religion do you understand nobody knows only God knows you might think that you're on the right path but in the actual sense maybe you're not even close do you understand so uh, and 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 we're in a journey where we are trying to learn understand and keep learning do you understand so the whole idea of I am the best I am yes that's your uh, that's your own ego pump yourself with the ego you know keep yourself going you can say my 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 religion is the best religion on earth yeah that's you that's that's according to you that's your own opinion but do you even know the truth or that's what you've been reading and that's what you've been told the people who used to live back in the in the in the days maybe that's not what they used to know maybe they used to know something else and they said the same thing the way you're saying but probably they ended up maybe coming back here or maybe going to other places i don't know what happens when people die but in the actual sense let's just try to be human beings of trying to not put each other or classify each other in a way that especially when it comes to religious aspect of things i think we should all be the same in terms of trying to respect people you can't go in front of television and trying to disrespect others just because you feel like you're more superior that one right there was outright uh, bad conduct of him and disagree with what um, he actually was saying you can't you can't say that but there are many factors to um to consider here to understand there's this crowd and this is 21 2012 so maybe he's changed a bit in the way he answers things but is it 2012 or is recently yeah, no they said 2012 in mm -hmm. the video they kept on saying that um, i wanted to say first of all maybe dr zaki naik at this point had been answering questions after question do you understand and look at the crowd they're not even seated and then here comes a guy i'm not blaming him i, I always say if you don't know something go out there and ask but this guy was also taking his Take your time, but he was repeating the same thing different ways. Do you understand? At some point, if someone has been maybe standing for a long time or addressing people for a long time, 
you get irritable but i'm still agreeing with you the way dr zaki naive answered wasn't that good and i feel like both of them were just i don't know this is not a debate that's what people need to understand this is not a debate learn to conduct yourself accordingly but besides that we also have to look at the question the guy is asking because if this guy has read somewhere there's some hadith somewhere or whatever i don't know if he was reading from the quran that's saying uh, muslims have to go to another hill i think it's um it's um it should be a starting point for a certain conversation do you understand what i expected from dr zaki naik is just to explain that whatever he was reading uh wasn't right and i think the conversation would have gone on well anything else to be honest he was really trying to avoid that conversation because that was a nice question that everybody want someone like me i really wanted to hear what is going to what he will answer do you understand as a good teacher you listen to your students or to whoever wants to debate you and then try to make it clear that what you're saying probably is wrong and this is how it was meant to be because people perceive things differently maybe he should have start, he should have started with that he's a christian he's reading it at a christian point of view do you understand really i don't know no, because i'm you know, just sometimes saying sometimes you come across certain material even yes. as you do your schoolwork that certain sources though your lecturers won't accept exactly that. that's what i'm so saying maybe his source just wasn't it yes you can be you can be uh, i mean on, on thesis there are guidelines and how you answer question or how you 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 you, you do your research and how you put it out there maybe he came in totally different with what he just came across and he was just posing a question and and um he just wanted to understand why is it written here that all muslims are going to go to hell and then they're going to go to heaven later he just wanted to to ask and probably get a clear answer out of it but guess what because Dr. Zakir Naik is not a good teacher because Dr. Zakir Naik doesn't want to really understand or really want to 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 actually answer the question in a correct manner so that everybody can be educated and everybody can be can be uh can learn one or two things before they go home guess what it makes it look like that verse is even correct that's what i'm trying to say it makes it look like there's something there that Dr. Zaki didn't want to even emphasize. I don't know. Maybe this is just, this is a long form video. We don't know. Maybe it has been cut out of context. And then this is what we see. Maybe late, maybe after what it was cut over here, maybe he tried to explain how the verse is supposed to be and all this kind of stuff. Don't get me wrong. I'm just trying, I'm reacting according to what I just saw. If you have a long form video just let us know in the comment section just give us let us know but according to this form that we've seen here um, i kind of disagree with him on how he reacted i get what you're saying maybe at this time he didn't have a clear understanding of things because this was a long time ago he was really not clear understanding i said he might have been tired yeah maybe he might have been tired and so you get irritable sometimes yeah you understand? sometimes someone comes with something and you just think like oh, this is a silly question why are you even mentioning it let us know what you guys think feel free to suggest anything down in the comment section below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video. And